the famous story a man came a young man came to one of the scholars and he said to him that I constantly commit sins so give me an advice that will stop me from committing the sins so the scholar said I'll give you four advice remember them when you commit a sin do not eat from the food of Allah nor that you drink from the water of Allah so this young man said how would that be possible when everything belongs to Allah the food and the water and everything so he said how would it be possible for you to disobey Allah and in return eat his food and drink his water and then he said to him when you want to disobey Allah Azza wa Jal, disobey Allah on a place that does not belong to Allah so this young man said how would that be possible when everywhere and everything belongs to Allah so he said how is it possible for you to disobey Allah on a property that belongs to him and then he said to him when you want to disobey Allah go and disobey Allah in a place that Allah cannot see you he said how is that possible when Allah can see everyone and everything so he said, how is it possible for you that you disobey Allah knowing that Allah is watching you? And then he said, lastly, when you disobey Allah and you know that you go to the hellfire and the angel of death is coming to take you there, tell him I'm not coming with you. So the young man said, Wallahi, this is impossible. When is it ever that the angel of death will take a permission to take a soul of someone beside the souls of the prophets and the messengers? So the imam said to him, how is it possible for you that you disobey Allah? And I say to everyone who disobeys Allah, how is it possible for you that you disobey Allah? Where do you have the courage? Where do you have the guts to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Never disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.